So hi and welcome to the latest in Omnia's um, series of educational videos uh, with the inventor of the Omnia Radiation Balancer, uh, Dr. Ilya Lakisevich, or Laki, as he likes to call himself. Um, now, Laki prides himself on the, his knowledge of Tesla's uh, style, Tesla's science. And today we're going to discuss everything he knows about uh, Tesla's methods and we're going to unveil some secrets too. So we're also going to compare Tesla with Einstein. We're going to look at the characters of the two men and we're going to look at the scientific methods of both of them. And we're going to look at the immortal style of creation that Tesla's famous for. Uh, and then we're going to go into the secrets of creation um, with electricity, which are as yet unknown. So this is new material uh, that we're going to uncover, um, which Tesla is as yet unfamous for but we're going to make we're going to change that so welcome lucky thanks for uh, sharing your knowledge with us today and if i could just ask you first of all obviously you're a big fan of tesla because he's right behind you what what does tesla mean to you i am that i am lucky of free and sovereign domain and I am an admirer of the uh, greatest the genius, in my opinion, of all times, uh, my countryman, Nikola Tesla. And I love my brother, Nikola Tesla, as I love myself and I love God and I love uh, every other human being uh, who is my brother or my sister. Uh, but uh, Tesla is uh, really uh, a unique teacher by, examples, by example in many respects. Uh, when I have started my, my journey, uh, I have decided to establish telepathic communication with Tesla. And at the beginning, I had some communication one can find on the internet with him. And uh, later, when I have realized that everything comes from within, from within me, I stopped that, uh, so to say, channeling anybody else except myself. And then... I have started my independent journey, my independent uh, discovery, my independent uh, soul evolution, independent in a sense that that I I, I channel myself, so to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, but Tesla Tesla is a, that that kind of, of man, uh, which is uh, a, an outstanding exa outstanding example in many respects, and. Uh, uh, if I would, if I would uh, uh, compare Tesla with uh, some other great scientists, like uh, Tim, for example, like Einstein, what, what, what do you think about Einstein? It's a generally believed that Einstein is the uh, most successful and the best scientist uh, or, or in this civilization of all times. So many people are uh, thinking like that, and Tesla is not known because he is removed from the media and so on uh, deliberately. Uh, but I, I, would like, I would like to make uh, some small comparison. Let's say uh, we, uh, we erase Einstein from this civilization and his, uh, his achievements, his discoveries and everything what he has done. What would happen? Uh, that just uh, unvalid theories would not exist and there will be less atomic bombs because he was participating in development of atomic bombs. And we know that all. Mm. But let's re remove and erase Nikola Tesla from this civilization. And what would happen? The whole civilization will, would stop immediately. No induction motors, no AC, no uh, water power plants, no laser, no radar, no... A lot, a lot other discoveries uh, that Tesla made possible and that uh, Tesla blessed this civilization with. And the they call him the, the, the inventor of modern life, don't they? The, the, the inventor of, of everything that we're using right now. And Absolutely. you could almost say that he's, yeah, and you could almost say that he's sort of responsible for, you know, wireless data as no, well. But, you know, we'll, we'll come on to that, I'm sure. And after, after this comparison, there are no doubts who is the greatest genius of all times. Of course, it is Nikola Tesla. Uh, at the beginning, I would like, I would like uh, to share something about Tesla, what is not known. Uh, the title of this presentation is uh, the Tesla Style 101. I have chosen that title because uh, of the immortal style of creation, which I call Tesla Style 101 in seven steps. 
which is the only way that God is creating and which Tesla mastered to the perfection. And it's challenge for every 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 creator in any kind of, of every kind of human creativity to to apply that style and to master it to, to the perfection so to be successful like Tesla uh, used to be. Uh, I, I never I never test uh, say Tesla was. Tesla is because every human being is infinite and eternal human being and Tesla is listening now to us what we are talking about and he's present here now of course and uh, uh, after this comparison uh, of, of the Tesla with with Einstein I would like uh, to make some 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 parallel between me and Tesla in a, in a, in a sense that uh, we both decided to incarnate in a Serbian family because Serbs are uh, known that they are uh, God-centered, that they have God in their hearts, and uh, that's why they are, they are quite unique, so to say. And then uh, they are also, so to say, materially quite a poor, so that uh, incarnation in uh, some Serbian family like Tesla did on me means starting from the very poor condition. And that is just a starting point and everything is possible. So Tesla is uh, an outstanding example, teacher by example, that uh, also measure circumstances, very poor circumstances can be transformed into greatest achievements by moving stuck karma energy and translating them into desired realities of a normal increased life quality. And now I would like to share something what is not known about Tesla, uh, because uh, his father was was priest, and in the church there was a library, and at the age of eight nine he found a book about Niagara Falls there, and uh, read the book and was delighted about that wild power, and decided in that enthusiasm and delightfulness to harness one day this wild power and. And, and transfer transfer it in, in, in the in the energy in the use of the humanity, and was so delightful, so so inspired. I went out and told the people about his decision. And now comes the point, because Serbian people, uh, Serbian mentality is known uh, that they that they ridicule others very gladly and very very sophisticated and very successful when they find some victim. <laughs> And they started that to ridicule Tesla. You, you will harness the, the the Niagara Falls. You cannot wear your your pants. They look he look like like a stick, you know, the Tesla tall tall boy and very very thin. And he he used to whine days and weeks and months. And one day he decided not to listen to them. Went to sleep and decided absolutely to do it and and to finish that. To realize that, and after that, he didn't care about the the, the objections and so and and he was guided exactly how to come to the Niagara Falls and build the first water power plant and transmuting one karma energy, which is called in the Serbian language inat, and there is no translation in English. Inat means uh, uh, when all, all conditions, all circumstances are again, and you decide, the, in spite of it, to realize it, and you succeed, because we are only om omnipotent beings. But that was, and and then when, when your decision is really so strong, and your desire, it goes into manifestation, and that Tesla is a wonderful example how he transmuted that karmic energy of the Serbian nationality into the greatest achievement first water power plant in the world how many water power plants are now in the world and how many electric energy is been producing since that time that is multi multi trillion or sextillion uh, business i believe mm. uh, in my opinion tesla is unique also because his standard of honesty honesty and knowledge we know all what he has done. Honesty means no cheating and no lie. We know all what he has done with Westinghouse and when he destroyed the check on $1 million, 
I believe if we would compare one million at that time uh, with today money, it would be probably one billion. And he, he destroyed uh, that check in order to save Westinghouse and to continue collaboration with him. And of course, Tesla is uh, an example of knowledge, uh, an example standard of knowledge. And uh, in the new era, I would I would like to call uh, with right Tesla as a as a standard of consciousness. That and he was always trying to improve the world, right? He wasn't trying to do things to make money. He was just trying to improve the quality of life, right? Of course, and, and uh, considered himself uh, as a scientist who is working for the whole humanity, for the benefit of, of, of the humanity. Hmm. And uh, also what is very, very important, Tesla is an uh, outstanding promoter of the highest truths that there is good in everything. We know, we know in uh, aerodynamics there is a small and very thin layer of the motionless air around the fast moving objects preventing them uh, for moving even faster and consuming um, around 40 percent less less fuel uh, by the airplane and tesla succeeded uh, to to turn that uh, negative precept uh, into good and build marvelous pumps and turbines and nobody, almost nobody, is using uh, this 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 wonderful invention from Tesla. So today, our pumps and turbines are like like Kinder toys for 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 the Tesla Tesla invention. Um, uh, uh, why Tesla uh, was so so uh, successful and so uh, unique? Because he used to establish connection with spirit. In the in the state of uh, daydreaming and uh, half daydreaming, he was able to to see in his vision the energy movement, and then uh, when when everything worked in his in his uh, so say higher dimensions in his thoughts, he brought down the the the, the instrument. But uh, uh, for me, for me. And uh, there will be also people who will uh, agree with me. Uh, although his inventions were so amazing, so wonderful, so, so unbelievably, especially for that time, for me, it is more important his immortal style of creation uh, in seven steps because uh, I have that guiding motto that is uh, my better best friend is the one who is teaching me uh, uh, fishing, not giving me fish to eat once or a few times. When, when, I, when I learn to fish, I can provide for myself always. That is the same situation with this uh, immortal Tesla style of creation in seven steps, that uh, we uh, learn how to create and how to create like Tesla and even, even better, of course. Everything mm -hmm. is possible, everything can be improved. So, uh, to Tesla, thinking was a process which bridged the objective physical world with several subtle, subtle realms, where ideas and concepts exist almost like fish in an ocean, waiting to be catched uh, by the acquired human mind. He was not satisfied with spec speculating about idea and theories. He pushed beyond speculation and learned to deal with ideas and thought in their own realm, where they can be fully perceived. In other words, Tesla used the mind to link heaven with earth. That is the bridge between heaven or, or, and earth. And everybody else, not only Tesla, can do the same. We all can uh, go into, into, I use it, a conscious breathing, forget the body and connect with spirit and achieve, achieve uh, any, any goal. In, while their contribution of other 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 uh, successful people in the world uh, are valuable, they are almost always uh, kept in vague words and uh, intangible feeling about life, light, and beauty. Tesla, by contrast, focused the ideas of the mind toward scientific discovery. He translated his ideas not into uh, value precepts and lovely thoughts, but into turbines, lighting system, broadcasting towers, and electric machinery. In his hand, the light of heaven literally became 
light on us. I don't believe that anybody else in the history of mankind deserves such such such, such compliments except Tesla. Yeah, extraordinary. Um, and is that style uh, only applicable in science or are there other realms like sport or business or art or music uh, that this style of creation applies? Uh, yeah, that's a wonderful question. Thank, thank you, Tim. This is a, a general style of creation in seven steps, the same style which God Aton is using in creation. And imagine Tesla knew and mastered and applied that style some hundred or more years ago. That is wonderful, amazing. So he was way ahead of his time. And, and, and <laughs> way ahead of his time, yeah, but also um, that time is coming back, right? That time is coming back again, where but we it, can it, now it, start it, to understand more about how we can all start to learn how to create as well. Of course, but it's a pity that Tesla has been removed from the from the public uh, at all, from schools and everywhere. I remember I studied physics and finished my postdoctor, uh, my my master degree studies and my doctor degree studies in, in at the university in Belgrade in Serbia, and I had no one uh, presentation about Tesla, no one, no one, yeah, no one at all He's at the hidden. university in Belgrade. He's been buried. Yeah. No, no, nothing, right. so, nothing about Tesla. That's unbelievable. And when, when I went to India a few years ago and went uh, to a company producing everything copying from the Tesla, hmm. I went there and asked them, do you know uh, something about Tesla? No. They had no idea about Tesla. That is uh, really... Uh, I'm, I'm happy now that, that it, it is changing now and Tesla will uh, finally... Uh, get his deserved position. And, uh, that, that, well, that people are position. people are finding him again, and that's why we're having this discussion. People are finding him again because what he discovered is now very relevant um, in terms of understanding a bit more about our bodies, about electrical current. Um, there's a lot of problems in the world that need solutions, and uh, I know that you're going to take us through some of the secrets that, that Tesla knows. Uh, um, which are going to be very, very useful in solving those problems. So go ahead. Yeah, of course, of course. And uh, uh, the first step, the first step is uh, desire of the mind. Desire is the main motivating force of the creation, and we human beings are creating with desire. And desire is timeless. And desire comes uh, as a flesh of the inspired light from the knowing mind. Desire to create always means giving from the centering soul. Giving from the centering soul. Expression of the love is giving principle. And that is the desire for creation and for creative uh, uh, expression. Uh, uh, I do not confuse the spiritual desire to create bodies with the physical desire to to take something to continue to grow of creating body. Hmm. Mostly, we have uh, today the case that people take something what is already created and give it other form and consider that creation. Uh, that is a, but not creation, of course. Is there a, an example of that? Uh, yeah, of course, of course. Any, any. T t take, for example, uh, yeah, which, which one? Uh, take, uh, for example, uh, water power plant. There was no idea before Tesla discovered and uh, real, uh, have real, has realized that the water power plant, that absolutely that power that is in the water can be, can be transmuted in electric power. Hmm. That is creation from something what is not taking uh, that electric current which is produced by water power plant and then creating some other device which uses that electric current in order to perform some some work on some 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 service, so to say, and that, that is huge difference, of course. Yeah, and that is the difference. Uh, uh, the second point uh, is a tricky one and is not easy to be understood. Uh, desire is immediately fulfilled because every idea, which is part of one idea of creation is also fulfilled since one idea of creation is fulfilled and this is 
material universe, this material universe. This one idea of creation, one idea of balance is fulfilled by creation of the material universe. And that means that mentally as a concept, as an idea, every desire is already fulfilled. And that makes uh, me happy when I know that already exists that idea and people can forget forever that they create in something new. There is nothing new. Every idea is already existing and we have to go into that world of ideas, so to say, in order to pick up that idea and decide uh, to realize, materialize or not. It depends on, on, on everybody. So is it a bit like, you know, if I decide to punch someone, then that punch already exists in, you know, the field of all possibilities. I just manifest it with my desire, right? And I can punch you hard or soft, or I can hug you instead. But all of those uh, options exist already. And yeah, we have to just dial in to then bring it through and make it happen. Is that what we're saying? Of course. Of course, that's the same in the, in the science and everywhere. That already exists, the, the idea. You take that idea and decide if you will realize, decide if you will punch me or anybody else or not. But that the idea exists already. There's yeah. nothing new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, um, and now uh, I divide that idea by setting my concept in motion. Setting concept in motion means to think. To think I can only what I know, and that is where the importance of knowledge comes. One cannot create anything without knowledge, without knowing, because thinking can express knowing only. And creation is a product of thinking. So that is my idea now. Uh, I want only one part idea of the whole idea and my idea part idea of what i want is the creation of the control conscious temperature control unit with the new energy conscious energy and its unit deca for the senses to sense and for the soul to feel and for the uh, me to enjoy and the whole humanity to enjoy and uh, that is now i'm applying that on my on my idea to create the control temperature unit without electricity. So and just just to be is... clear, just to be clear about this, um, because I've spoken to you about this before. Um, what we're talking about is using Tesla's seven steps of creation, but but adjusting it with a new unit of energy uh, that's arrived in our atmosphere that allows us to use those seven steps but also to work with this new unit of energy to create many more new solutions, much like Tesla created with electrical current, we can now use this new unit of energy to replace a lot of the electrical systems that we've previously relied upon. Am I right? You are completely right. It's uh, everything is possible and with knowledge, everything is possible. So even creation of light and heat, what, is, what are the only products that company uh, currently are producing and selling is possible without electricity and that is the main re difference between me and Tesla because I have decided for something crazy at the time Tesla ha has decided to create with electricity it was already known but not investigated and Tesla discovered uh, uh, amazing things with it but but now I I in, in a sense uh, am expanding that somehow on in the field of the conscious creation without electricity mm. and in my in my humble opinion that is an uh, evolutionary step and uh, uh, um, my uh, my expectation and my hope is uh, applying this uh, this uh, immortal tesla style 101 uh, i will succeed in my in my intention uh, the moment uh, I extend what I know to my divided lies, lies which think what I know into thought forms. I begin to work on building on my CTC unit. That means I can imagine something or think something just on the base what I know. And that is why I have spent more than 12 years studying uh, the new conscious energy and the laws of creation with the new conscious energy and the shapes and the ways how to create appropriate shapes uh, 
to create pressure, to create light, to create heat and everything else. And experimentation with some simple models, of course, uh, because without, uh, you, you will see later, without uh, physical action, uh, nothing can be finished. So, uh, so geometry, now, is key, sorry, geometry is key in this, right? So, um, so working yeah, with geometry yeah, course, and getting the, the, because, because of the way that energy flows through geometry, is that right? Yeah, of course. You, 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 can, you can collect uh, and give the, the new conscious, uh, new, new energy unit DECA different forms of expression which are appropriate for different purposes, for different applications. For right. example, for that application that I would like to realize uh, the, the control temperature uh, unit, conscious control temperature control unit, and the appropriate form is a cobra shape, mm. so to call it cobra shape. Yeah, I will arrange somehow, I know now how, uh, the, the, these units in a cobra shape so, so that the, 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 uh, the position of the, of the head of cobra, there will be create appropriate pressure for, 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 for my, my application does matter which it is, but right. appropriate, appropriate pressure. So uh, step five, awareness that I have now created the seed of the thought path pattern with my thoughts, and then I can start building uh, the device by action. So that, that part of, of the creation with the step is uh, finished, imagination and creation of the thought pattern. We must know what is not known in science and people do not know that everything is the universe is created from a thought pattern or from the seed. Science has never succeeded to find the, and measure the seed in any crop and anything, anything else because it is two dimensional thought pa pattern. You cannot, you cannot record it. You can know it, but cannot record it. So from that starts the, cre the creation. Now, when I have created in my imagination that thought pattern, I go further and uh, uh, go into body action in order to start the, the creation. I uh, reach out and uh, go, go on, uh, make uh, some sketches and go to the workshop and uh, they make me uh, some appropriate shapes uh, and I use materials and magnets and everything else. And finally, uh, I would like uh, to show you, uh, finally, I get this, uh, this uh, generator. Uh, you can see magnets arranged at the top uh, and the inside there are also magnets and the, these shapes are unique and so on. And I have my uh, my working piece now to experiment with according to my seed, to my thought patterns. And that is, that is the step six. When I have that, that, that the experimental model, I experiment with it until it works and I produce desired, uh, desired uh, uh, pressure, desired temperature to, let's say, burn up the paper, just bringing the paper here, igniting the paper. And that moment, the, the breakthrough will be reached. And after that comes the, uh, out, out the, the last step in the creation, when I optimize just one, how to produce many of them. To organize production and to, uh, how where to find material, how to uh, simplify that everything, make it efficient and so on how to make it as cheap as possible, as efficient as possible, and so on. That is the last step to make it more and more, because I want more of that, not only the one. And wow. the, those are mainly the seven steps of creation. Mm -hmm. uh, those people who will see that can read it in details because I wrote it, but I, I like to explain it very simple so that people who are not familiar with science, they don't need to be, and can apply this this this, uh, this uh, uh, immortal Tesla style one zero uh, one uh, one style of creation to any any kind of creation in music in sport in business in anything else. Amazing. So I mean, just so that I'm getting this absolutely straight, what we're saying is that that thoughts have real power, 
and thoughts have um, uh, a creative, a creative um, uh, capacity or capability. Um, and with your thoughts, anything is possible. And with a combination of using this new unit of energy, um, and uh, I know that you use uh, conscious breathing, for example, um, you can actually use your thoughts to uh, program this new unit of energy, right? When you reach a certain state. Uh, and so you can actually connect with that and go through seven steps of uh, Tesla's seven steps of creation to, to complete wonderful um, products and uh, experiments with this new unit of energy, which could lead us into a new era where we can replace the electrical current supply that we are dependent on for many things, including my computer here, uh, including most electrical devices. So ultimately, I know that your vision is to get towards a civilization without cables, without um, plugs, without generators, etc., and without the electrical grid, because we can use this tiny unit of energy, which is like we like you said before, it's the dodecahedron with twelve uh, or six pairs of, of spirals which flow energy in and out of the de dodecahedron um, uh, and we can use that energy which never runs out because the, it's running in in and out of the cones um, we can use a combination of that little unit of energy plus our mental or, or our mind's desire um, to actually program them to to perform electrical functions or functions that were previously um, deemed as only possible via electricity um from cables like this right so yeah, i think i'm rambling a little bit but i think i, I hope i've got that that straight no, no, you, you got wrong. it right you got it right that that mm. is true the, the 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 secret is here that really this new energy responds uh, to your uh, conscious intent expressed verbally only in written form mm. and now you have to find the way how to attach it to that uh, unit of the energy so that it be constantly permanently present there that the, the the new energy unit can fulfill fulfill your uh, desire your requirement it is conscious creation it is conscious creation with conscious intent because the new conscious energy responds to conscious intent and it, it is slave of me as a boss who is commanding the new energy what what to do not how to do but what to do because the energy is conscious and and knows how to do how to balance and, and produce anything and my challenge is now to establish that connection with that energy to uh, so that uh, the energy can accept my conscious intent and fulfill my desire my conscious intent and that is the trick and and uh, that that is what i've been pioneering with and mastering the uh, slow step by step and my expectation uh, very soon it will be it will work it Fantastic. So the, the old uh, era of energy is all dominated by electrical current and force and, you know, duality and, you know, uh, water flying down a dam and, you know, generating enough power to turn a turbine and, and then, you know, pu push light and heat down an electrical cable to, you know, charge up the grid and then we all take energy off the grid and once it's gone, we pay for it and then we're slave to that grid. But the new energy is also using Tesla's seven steps of creation to take yes. that new unit of energy, the dodecahedron or the deca, as, as, as you call it, um, and to program it with our minds to just enable lots of graceful solutions, um, you know, which, which come to us with ease as long as we learn how to activate them, right? Absolutely, and that's amazing. And that is pure simplicity, really. One day, when when uh, we realize and disclose the way, uh, you you will laugh about that simplicity. Right. But, uh, yeah. Uh, and, <laughs> yeah. That that is that is simplicity is God's way of creation. Whenever you reach simplicity, you know that you are on the right path. And that's something to get so excited about, yeah, for sure. Oh, of course, of course. But I understand, I understand that, that there are uh, so many people who are trying to create with electricity and try, trying to create free energy devices and that they are involved in, in, uh, in so many projects all around the world. And I would like to use this opportunity to share with them something 
uh, about uh, the, about Tesla's way uh, of uh, creating with so-called conical coils. Mm -hmm. Tesla's conical coils. Uh, conical coil uh, is a big secret and uh, is a big uh, progress, big breakthrough for uh, every every inventor, every creator. Uh, because in the in the science uh, there are cylindrical coils and a loop of the forces uh, of the cylindrical coil, coils are inefficient whereas conical coils, co coils have a magnification of 4096 times if the diameter of the base is equal to the height of the cone that is very important and on this picture you see how tesla experimented with the double conical coil coils and double cone which are bit which i call bicon which i call bicon and uh, i i i i'm i'm quite sure that many of these uh, of these uh, inventors and investigators will study this picture because there are a lot of information for those who know how to to find them on this picture or on this picture also that on this picture that is a wooden frame as you 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 can see but but it is not it 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 that was the first step in creation with the uh, with the uh, bicon i call it bicon but look at this picture this is a picture from the tesla's laboratory and i bet here this double cone is a is a glass double cone evacuating glass because there is a one secret how one can start from the from the seed from the thought pattern in order to create desired electric car or something else look uh, look at this beautiful picture tesla was master and his his devices are are, are, are a kind of art and perfection so you, you is that one of his is that one of his real yeah, of devices course, of course that is picture of, from his laboratory at from that time laboratory. And that time, and here, look at, the, at these pictures: high frequency oscillations up, and the double conical coils, uh, and everything else. Uh, I, I would, I, I would not uh, share much details about it, but everybody who who is scientific minded and who is creating a free energy device should and must, in my opinion, turn to conical coils, to double conical coils because uh, there leaves enormous potential for enormous enormous achievements in free energy devices in electric power it is not my passion it is not my desire I, i'm not i'm not uh, loved in, in in electric car and the creation with electric car my love is that kind the new energy and i'm created with the new energy but of course know these principles and can help also people who who are uh, somehow who who desire and who like to ask me I, I would i would like to share more and to help them about this also go to fessy or or some other people doesn't matter mm. if if they are on on the way to create something new with this uh, uh, with these uh, uh, magical double cones yeah and can you just explain cones. just explain a little bit about what's happening in these in these pictures just for people you know who who aren't look, 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 uh, the, uh, oh sorry Scientific-minded uh, people know that uh, you have uh, around the, the double cone, you wind the, the wire, and you have double conical coil. Uh, here on the right and the left are anodes, uh, in the middle is cathode. And creation of the electric current in the universe, in the universe is the simple process by dividing the cathode into the pairs which then multiply 4096 times and here at the place of the anode right and left you get enormous potential and tesla picked up that potential you you see here the, these wires the, the, uh, up and then uh, the, between the, this this high potential there were uh, there were high frequency discharges and wonderful colors and uh, not only that but oh, okay that is what is shown here in this picture mm. there is a possibility uh, with these double cones to place 
so to say, thought pattern, pattern of some electric current, current, like a seed of an electric current, like a, a five kilowatt or 10 kilowatt motor. And then record that seed, record that thought pattern in the vacuum, and that will be then multiplied 4,000, let's say 96, 4,000 times. So from 10 kilowatt, one can get just once to, to, to record the, the, the seed, to record the thought pattern, and then get from the nothing, 4,000 times means get a 40 megawatts. That wow. is a normal power, and that everything could take uh, probably a few minutes when, when one masters this and, and can, can bring it. By the way, by the way, uh, I have information when Tesla started to experiment with double conical coils, it was the point when they decided to get rid of him because it was on the dangerous way. It's too to, dangerous. To produce very cheap or almost zero, zero, or zero price uh, energy. Wow. And of course, energy is a system of control, as we know. Um, so, but we, we won't go too deep into that because me and you are very focused on replacing electricity with something course, free and something uh, also that is in harmony with the human body uh, because me and you are working very closely on the radiation balancer which is the use of the DECA technology with the conscious human intent with the seven Tesla steps of creation to create a patch uh, which looks a bit like this which goes on a mobile phone or a Wi-Fi router and that has instructions within the DECA because we, we've discussed already that the Decker becomes our slave and we have our master, masterfulness through our conscious human intent, which can instruct the Decker to then become a program that balances the radiation. Um, so I don't know if you've got any one more thing to say about radiation and also your discoveries about radiation because of, um, you know, I know that you've, you've got a journal a paper coming out soon. Um, with the International Journal of Science and Research. Do you want to talk to us a little bit about radiation? Uh, I, I, would like, I would like to emphasize that uh, possibility to turn it into good, uh, applying that uh, Tesla style uh, and applying that trust that there is good in everything. Of course, uh, uh, this, uh, this radiation, especially the 5G is dangerous and is, is uh, harmful. But for me, everything in energy and can be turned into good. And there uh, leads the potential and the capability of the new energy to balance that everything. So there is a, there is possibility to make solution and to balance that radiation and turn it into, into blessing for the whole, all life forms on this planet. And that is what I've been working on, and I, I don't like to share now a lot about it. When it works, it will be, it will be known. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, great. And I, you know, I mentioned earlier on that you're um, about to be published in the International Journal of Science and Research, and your paper is called ATON, the True Cell, Atom and Particle Concept, where you describe um, all of the truths that you found about the nature and the behavior of the atom itself and understanding that, um, that the zero point that exists within the center of the atom's light ring um, is essential to us understanding exactly uh, how the atom behaves and also therefore how you know, the whole universe behaves and all nature's laws and so on. Um, but I just wanted to read one uh, little um, extract from that about you know what Tesla knew and just see if you wanted to comment on that um, but it's uh, it, I'm just reading from your uh, your journal ex, uh, entry which is let me disclose here one more secret of electrical current which Tesla knew the greatest master of electric current ever when he invented alternative electric current AC in the middle between the cathode and anode there must be a zero point where compression and expansion meet, exchange their polarities and continue the same game as long as there is a last bit of pressure condition on the electrodes and the measure of the rate of that interchange is the frequency of AC. Furthermore, there is no direct current DC since there must be the same polarity exchange, but due to such a long wavelength of the waves, we, we perceive it as DC. 
So I just wanted yeah, to yeah, you that, just that, sort that, of explain a bit more about that, <laughs> about the idea that we, we look at something and then we perceive it as something, um, but yes. actually we might be wrong. Yeah, yeah, that 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 is that that is how to say a little bit strange. I I would, I, would, I don't like to use uh, hard words, but that the whole civilization based on uh, electric car and electricity does not understand the concept of electric car. So the concept of electric car and uh, was no is known to Tesla and was known and is known to Tesla. It is always interchanged between uh, uh, between compression and expansion. So uh, uh, one can one can explain it very good uh, on, on, a, on a, an example or on of a magnet. Uh, there are very high, uh, very very uh, high potentials on both sides of the magnets. It interchange with each other in the middle where there is a zero and go further from each other to the end and again and again and again and that is. Uh, called interchange in, in installments. So, uh, and with every interchange, the potential at, at, the, at the top, at the peak, at the ends, will be reduced and reduced and reduced so that these magnets are working, let's say, 100 years or 200 years or 20 years, depends. So, and after that, they are dead because there is no more potential at the end. So it is not known in the science that they are not magnets, they are electric vortexes which compress and expand and exchange their polarity in the middle. And the rate of that exchange is a frequency of the AC. So there is no DC. Electric current cannot run in one way. It must be both sides and interchange in the middle. And that cycle, compression expansion is a frequency of, of, of the current. If it is very long time, if there is, let's say, uh, uh, every every 10 seconds one interchange that, that is uh, measured as a straight line and they call it a dc current it is not dc every current is ac but the different frequency uh, that is beautiful story uh, but uh, but tesla knew that of course they didn't like to comment about it uh, it will come in new knowledge uh, with new science in standing the right concepts and it it will be offered in my next article also which will appear in the same journal the National Journal of Science and Research. And my first article explains actually the right concept of cell, cell atom and particle uh, with God centering every piece of matter, every atom consisting of light ring spinning around that centering mind, God, spirit point, which is the source of energy. The consequence of it that everybody should understand that we cannot do anything without borrowing power from the creator, from God, from mm. the spirit. Not even moving that finger. Yeah. And we are not aware of it. We, 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 we are uh, brainwashed and mindwashed that we are separated from the creator. And we are our bodies. You know, we, are, we are weak and we cannot do. We can do everything when we connect with that spirit, which is, which is actually source of energy and the best guide, the best teacher knows everything, can everything is everywhere. So that is why I recommend also conscious breathing, not to connect with that spirit. And uh, when I clear all these concepts uh, in my next article, I will come to something, uh, something, uh, something amazing and teach by example what love is. If love is giving, and that is the love principle is giving, not taking, but giving. And then I will give. Uh, for free, the solution for nuclear waste and bless the whole civilization for free with that solution. That's my plan. That's what Fantastic. Plan. Well, that's a great place to leave it, I think. Uh, obviously, we've got a lot of things to look forward to, and there's an enormous amount of hope that you're giving us through um, your pursuit and your understanding of Tesla's methods and then bringing them into 2019. Um, with the new unit of energy, which is the DECA, and allowing that process of creation to assist you to create lots of new energy solutions, which almost retire the old systems of electrical grids and, and other um, forms of power or, 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 or energy. Um, and that's fantastic. So uh, we've got your book coming out, which is uh, God in the Atom. Um, we'll put yes. the links uh, in, the, uh, in the notes below. Uh, we've got some articles coming out as well, which uh, are going to give people a perfect introduction to your massive volume of work. 
Uh, and then from my point of view, we've got the Omnia Radiation Balancer as well, which is an example of your uh, knowledge um, and the DECA at work to balance radiation fields. So I just want to say a massive thank you, Lucky, for all the work you're doing for I, humanity. I, I, um, and, uh, I thank you, Tim. And, and I thank uh, Tesla for allowing us to standing on his shoulders and to seeing further than he was able to see. And, and that, that is... a. Uh, our our thank, sincere thankfulness and appreciation. We love you, Nicola. You are our brother, as you love us. And he is present as he's laughing now and sending your blessing. His blessing to you, Tim, also, and to all all your 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 visitors and your your. Amazing! I'm getting goosebumps. That's brilliant. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Bye bye. Bye. So it is. Please subscribe to our Omnia Balance channel for more updates from Lackey. Head to omniaradiationbalancer.com to bring your body back to balance and harmonize all radiation fields. And investors, if you're interested, please email us at hello at omniabalance.life.